All right, what's going on guys? Justin Miller here with another tutorial coming at you and today We're gonna be doing a slide transition tutorial. So here's what it looks like So it looks really cool and um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this in HitFilm Of course all this stuff can apply to HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro If you guys are new here click that subscribe button because we're really 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 close to 400 subscribers And I'll have a transition pack coming out at 400 So let's jump into the computer and I'll start teaching you how to do this all right, so as you guys can see right now, we're inside of HitFilm Express, and what we're gonna do is we already have a new composite shot made, but you're just gonna make a new composite shot. Um, you guys can set it to whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna use that, and then we're gonna drag in our footage here. So there's our footage that we're gonna use. You guys can see here, it's just a couple of pictures of my boy Pingo, Pingu, I don't know how you say it. But pretty much what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scale this up so that way it fits the frame. With this transition, make sure that your footage is like longer than three seconds because if it's anything shorter than that, it just doesn't end up working. So we're going to make this clip six seconds long. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go into the effects panel and we're going to type in tile. Now you're not going to want to click this one because this one's the wrong one. You're going to go to the top link in the description. You're going to download my tile preset and you're just going to drag that onto your footage. You guys can do whatever one you'd like. I'm going to use the 200%, but you guys can do the 300% if you want. Like I said, the link will be the top link in the description. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do as follows. You're going to find this and this right here. It says 142% because you guys, we scaled this up. So you're just going to double that, which is not double. I don't know. It's 242% pretty much. And you guys can see here that there's just still a little bit of mirroring. So you're going to want to zoom in just a little bit more. And then we're going to do the same thing with our other image. So we're going to go there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to open up our drop down menu for transform. And we're going to zoom into the end of our footage. Now what we're going to do is you're going to put a keyframe on position at the end of your footage. Then you're going to want to go back one second. So you're going to set that to two seconds because remember we're at three seconds right now. And you're just going to hit enter and you're going to set another keyframe there. So now you're going to go to the end of the footage here, right where you set your first keyframe. But in actuality, it's your second. I just like to work backwards. Now you can see it's going to show this other image because that's the frame that you're at. So you're going to actually move back a keyframe and slide that over. And then you're just going to move it. So depending on which way you want it to slide, this way will make it slide left. Um, you can also make it slide right if you wanted. And you're just going to drag back over that keyframe. Now you're going to render this, you're going to play this back and it's not going to look very good. Um, it just no, it normally just doesn't look good because of the keyframe type. You're going to set your keyframe to this. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's just a circle. Click the circle and when you play this back, it won't look very good. Out. It won't look good. So then you're going to have to go to your value graph. It's this button right here. And you're just going to drag this little handle down almost to the bottom. It depends on what you like. But it really, it doesn't matter. It'll just smooth it out and make it look a whole lot better. And um, yeah, we're gonna do the pretty much the inverse of that with our second clip here. So what we're gonna do is to do the inverse of that, set your pos not pos not scale, set your position. We're gonna set this at zero. And oh, what I don't know, what I just did. Anyway, um, you're gonna zoom in and then you're gonna go ahead one second. So if you're at three seconds, you're gonna have to go to four and set a keyframe. Then you're just gonna leave that one at zero and don't touch that one. Then we're gonna go right here and you're gonna slide this one over like this. And as you guys can see in this clip, we moved it left. So it only makes sense for this one to be moving left as well. So like I said, we're just gonna drag this over. We're gonna zoom out and we're gonna use the selection tool to draw that in and then we're just gonna change the keyframe to the circle keyframe then we're gonna go into our value graph and we're gonna adjust the handle bring that handle up make that look nice and boom there you go so as you guys can see that's how you get a smooth keyframe transition thing um, it looks really cool and you can do this pretty much any way by just messing with the X and Y position values and um, you can even turn on motion blur. Motion blur sometimes makes it look better but motion blur can also kind of wreck your footage. 
it just makes it look a bit more realistic um but that's all up to you guys so um i'll jump back over to the camera and we'll do the outro all right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys are new here, like I said, please click subscribe because at 400 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away another transition pack. So um, if you guys like this video, drop a like on it. If you guys didn't, drop a dislike on it. Comment down below for tutorial that you want to see next time. And I'll see you guys in the next video.